This is the craziest tent we have ever installed on a car. have this Mustang here in the shop and we are replacing the regular tent with this luminous gold reflective tent. Now I've never worked with this tent before but we work with a lot of uh, metalized or reflective films that we do like on homes and commercial spaces. However this is the first time we're going to be working with this on this car. This is my first unveiling of it so I've never seen this before. I've just seen a few pictures but this is what the film would look like. I'm gonna bring my Texas squeegee, it's a gift. Ah, Texas squeegee branded right here, cutter. Now, whenever I was asking the owner about this one, it looks like this came in a kit. So they don't sell you the film itself. I guess they're selling you the kit. And I could see that there's different size rolls right here. So we're gonna roll this out and see what it's gonna look like. There's a few challenges with tinting this on cars because these types of tint are not generally designed to mold or shape to the glass because it distorts the metal. However, we're gonna see if they did anything about that or whether it's gonna be a technique thing. I have a few techniques for, for shrinking film that are metalized. So let's go check it out. I'm already seeing something that I already know it's what's gonna happen. This is gonna be a very hard tint to see out of and here's why. This is the outside color. It's a gold. The inside is a super bright silver. Now this in the daytime is pretty okay, but wait till it gets nighttime. Anytime you're gonna have your phone on on the inside, this is gonna turn into a mirror on the inside. And the reason why I know this is because we've worked with similar films like this before. I did it on the Jeep one time, but the Jeep was a bronze, it wasn't a gold, and uh, it ended up coming back and taking it off because this was just creating too much of a reflection that you couldn't see anything out. And that's the thing about these bright interiors is that they love to reflect light, and if you reflect light, that's how you can't see through it because it becomes into a mirror, so. Off the bat, very interesting development here. This is a shrinking the part of the film. Now this is a metallic film, so this is gonna be a little bit harder to shrink. We don't do a lot of these for cars, so right off the bat, this is a lot harder to shrink. Now shrinking is the process of shaping the film to the shape of the glass, because the glass isn't perfectly straight, so we have to shape the film in order to prevent getting like bubbles like this. Normally a typical automotive tint is gonna shrink really easy. This one is definitely a little bit more trickier. And uh, the struggle, the challenge with this one is to not overheat part of the film where you burn it up. So you have to be able to float the heat gun around in order to prevent one particular area heating up way too much. I'm pocket shrinking these little corners right here because I don't want to shrink the finger and potentially cause uh, ghosting. You know, ghosting is a term that is usually referenced to a metalized film having its metallic particles broken down due to heat, which usually happens when you overheat it during the shrinking process, but trying to be very careful not to add too much heat to one specific area. Hey, hey, at least it's gonna get the same results on my window. Hey, the, the <laughs> only way Sam knows how to hand cut is by pressing the word cut on the plotter. With his hand. With my hand. <laughs> hey, it's gonna look the same though, so we're good. These are the expectations, right? I thought it was my glasses, but even when I take them off, that nah, doesn't really help. General cut it and then about it. You gotta let it heat up to the glass too, so it doesn't do anything funny. I think this is it right here. You got an excess on the bottom. This past weekend, I was at the GeoShield dealer conference and Fusion Tools was one of the presenters that were there. Now, with the Texas Squeegee and seeing the industry event, they were there and decided to give me one of this, these squeegees right here, which I've never tried it before. I believe this is called the flat out. It's cut off a little bit right here, but uh, they wanted to give me this. So given the fact that we are working with a new type of tint on this one, and it's a gold reflective tint, and this is a new type of squeegee that I haven't used with, and this is a yellow golden squeegee. Figured it'd be a perfect mashup for this vlog here for you guys watching back home. Squeegee that.
All right, now let's go take out the wagon, the beast that we just put the golden reflective tint on there. First impression getting in here is it's a very yellow look, which is no surprise because it is gold. Now this car is pretty loud, so we're gonna do our best to make sure that the voice carries over to the camera. Right now you can still see out of it pretty good, but that might change at night because it is a super highly reflective tint, so. Now we're just gonna test drive the tint, make sure that it's performing up to standard. This tent is pretty damn fast. We're looking at about 800 horsepower on this window tent right here, about 98% heat rejection. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry, Chris. Just having a little bit of fun with this test driving the tent. Got to make sure it performs up to, uh, performs up to, uh, I, well, we didn't advertise it, but it performs up to the way it looks, all right? All right, well, that concludes the episode for today using Luminous Gold Reflective Tint that we did on his Mustang here live in Houston, Texas at Texas Tint Masters. This is the Texas Squeegee. I'll see you guys on the next one. Squeegee that. Oh, it looks like they're catching it. Let's hide the tent. It's not us. It was not us. It's over there, over there, over there.